The Somaliland House of Representatives convened on Saturday in Hergesa to unanimously approve the election laws, effectively bringing an end to a protracted electoral dispute. Lawmaker Abdi Nasir Qadah, a member of the parliamentary committee responsible for amending the existing electoral law, confirmed that specific provisions had been modified prior to receiving full approval from the lawmakers. The comprehensive amendments to the general election law and national voters' registration were a significant step forward. Initially composed of 154 articles, the revised laws now encompass an additional 13 new articles, according to MP Qadah. The parliament also made amendments to 35 other law articles, aimed at granting the election committee greater independence and authority in conducting elections. One breakthrough in the electoral impasse was the agreement reached between the government and opposition leaders to hold the presidential and political organization elections concurrently on November 13, 2024. This consensus was brokered by a committee of traditional elders, effectively resolving the long-standing disagreement over the sequencing of these elections. President Bihi had advocated for the election of political organizations to precede the presidential election, while the opposition had expressed reluctance. However, with the intervention of the traditional elders' committee, both sides reached a compromise, paving the way for unified elections. The positive strides made in resolving the electoral dispute garnered international recognition, including an endorsement from the United States government. Just a week ago, US Embassy Mogadishu Charge d'Affaires Shane Dixon visited Hargeisa, where he held discussions with key political figures. The United States commended the political agreement proposed by clan elders, and viewed it as a significant step toward achieving free and fair elections in Somaliland.